We've got a charming little needlework that uh, came into North Penn Art for reframing. And there's a couple things I'd like to share with you today in regard to framing needlework. Uh, one is why we would or would not put glass on there, uh, that we stretch the piece, and also the backing board. We would never use any kind of adhesive on the backing board, and unfortunately, it was used on this piece. So first of all, let me show you the glass. And maybe you can see here, the image has transferred itself onto the glass. And unfortunately, uh, that's due to the fact of it laying directly on top of the, the piece. Then secondly, when this was originally framed, it's a shame, but the original framer had uh, trimmed the piece to the edge and they cut away a lot of the fabric and we would absolutely never do that. Uh, one, it's not our decision to make and two, it severely kind of alters my ability to be able to stretch the piece and get these lines nice and straight. Uh, and honestly, I'm not really bothered by it. I think there's a charm to the up and down uh, edge here you know, based on the, the subject matter. But worst out of everything, the worst part of everything, is this back here, what had taken place. It was actually uh, glued down to a very acidic board, and the adhesive uh, was used. And that adhesive transferred itself here onto the back of the piece. So at this point, we have to make some decisions, and the customer needs to make some decisions whether... Uh, they should go to a conservator for cleaning first, and a lot of that's based on what you want to spend. But for the most part, the, the good part is we're going to get it off and away from that nasty backing. We're going to uh, create a space between the glass and the needlework, get it back in the package, the microclimate that is the framing package, and make this a much healthier, charming piece uh, to go forth into the future and hopefully be a nice piece to hand down in the family.